Locke, described by Roose Bolton as his best hunter, is dispatched to recapture Jamie Lannister. He and his men soon track the king's lair down, and take him into custody, along with his escort Brienne. Though Jamie attempts to bribe him, Locke refuses, fearing reprisals from Rob Stark. En route to Harrenhal, Locke and his men attempt to rape Brienne but are persuaded otherwise by Jamie, who lies to Locke, convincing him that Brienne's home of Tarth, also known as the Sapphire Isle, is named such due to an abundance of precious gemstones, and that Selwyn Tarth would richly reward him for returning his only daughter alive and unbesmirched. Emboldened by his success, Jamie attempts to barter for his release by reminding Locke of the wealth and power of his own father Tywin. This has an adverse effect, however, as Locke, angered by Jamie's arrogance and complacency, mockingly asks him to dine with his captors before throwing him over a tree stump and putting a knife to his eye. He tells Jamie that he believes himself to be the smartest man there is, but that he is nothing without his daddy, and should not forget it. Locke ultimately leaves Jamie's eye alone, but gives his captive a permanent reminder by instead chopping off his sword hand. Locke and his men continue taunting Jamie on the ride to Harrenhal forcing him to wear his severed hand around his neck and offering him horse urine to drink. When the weakened Jamie steals a sword and tries to fight his captors, they disarm him and Locke kicks him onto the ground, threatening that if he pulls something like that again it will cost him the other hand. Locke successfully delivers Jamie and Brienne to Roos Bolton at Harrenhal. Bolton is not amused to see that Jamie has been maimed and orders Locke to dispose of the severed hand. Locke proposes to send it to Tywin which prompts Bolton to tell Locke that he will hold his tongue or lose it. As Lord Bolton leaves to attend the wedding of Edmure Tully and Rosalind Frey at the Twins, Locke receives a raven from Lord Selwyn Tarth offering 300 golden dragons to ransom Brienne, but Locke refuses, believing Jaime's lie about Tarth's wealth and thus considers Tarth to be shortchanging him. Locke also taunts Jaime as he sets to leave for King's Landing with Kyburn and Steelshanks, saying that he'll take good care of Brienne and puts her inside the Harrenhal bear pit for his amusement and that of his men, giving the warrior woman nothing but a wooden tawny sword to defend herself from the animal. To Locke's frustration, Jamie comes back to rescue Brienne with the help of Steelshanks, who has no choice if he wants to fulfill Lord Bolton's orders to bring Jamie alive to his destination.